you're part of this rotation now, the standard and, and set. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a tough position, but obviously a glamorous position. How do you how have you adapted to it? How do you think you've played so far? Um, I think the standards would set standard this first round, obviously, and uh, I think so far this season, uh, every single week we just been taking uh, steps and getting bigger, uh, getting better, and uh, I'm excited to see. How far, what step we take this week against a really talented group of receivers? If you talk about that challenge, what kind of challenge? They've got some good receivers. Yeah, they got, they got some speed, but at the end of the day, we have some speed as well. Jeff, the Coach extra. Shiano talked a number of times about how Jordan can be an eraser for you guys back there in safety. Uh, from a player's perspective, do you are you able to play with more confidence when you know he's back there? How does that affect you guys, uh, maybe in front of him? Uh, I think uh, he's definitely gives you confidence with just because you have an experience uh, back, back there. Uh, captain and uh, someone that he's been he's playing a lot of big games so uh, just having him back there you kind of have a sense of confidence, so you, sense of confidence. you guys feel that you notice the difference when he's out there. oh yeah definitely do you get a little extra juice from playing in that venue you talked about uh, you guys have been there a few times you know? oh yeah because I mean I played there uh, obviously last year against USC and on top of that I, I played there twice in uh, high school so you did going there is always a fun time their quarterback, Robinson, what are your impressions of him so far, uh, both as a passer and a runner? Oh, uh, Sean's one of my uh, good friends. Uh, we went to this other high school. We played him in you know, football. Uh, I think he's a really elusive runner. Uh, he has a good arm. He can throw the ball really down the field. And uh, I'm really excited to get a chance to talk some noise to him on the field. And you're going to be covering a lot of uh, passes, obviously. But talk about running, you know, you know, playing against a, a running quarterback as well. I mean, he can do both, obviously, but just that threat that he brings from a running perspective. Oh, well, in our defense, uh, we try to plat when we get a running quarterback, we have to uh, we call plaster on to our man, just so uh, those running quarterbacks they can get out of the pocket and still be able to deliver a strike down the field. So our our job is to stay on our man and not allow those big plays. How would you describe their offense, Jeffrey? Uh, uh, what they like to do, et cetera. They're a little bit like you guys, a little bit, aren't they? I mean, but just what's, what's, what do you see when you watch them on video? Uh, I think when, I, when you look at the offense, you kind of it's really comparable to a lot of the big club offenses as far as spreading the ball around the field. Uh, not really one receiver that they go to, but mm -hmm. an array of receivers. So, I mean, I mean, as everyone across the board on defense has to be ready to do their job. You know that Turpin guy, the guy that took the punt back last week against SMU and stuff. Uh, he looks extremely fast. He's five nine, about 159 pounds. Uh, Obviously, he had a big pass catch last week, too, and stuff. What just jumps out at you when you watch him on video? Uh, he's really elusive, uh, probably one of the most elusive players I've seen on film. Uh, I think it's kind of comparable to maybe a Dennis Rowe or someone like that. But uh, I think as far as gunner-wise, I'm excited to be able to see, get down the field and then see see what he's all, what, what, what's yeah, all what's, about. What's the key to playing a guy like that? You know he's pretty quick and fast, but he's small. But what, what, what's kind of the key there? Uh, you know, guys like that, they like space, so <coughs> I think our job is to take all the space out. When you, you say you're going to bring the noise against Sean, do you mean that metaphorically, or are you going to trash talk him? No, no, we're going to have a little friendly trash talk during the game. It's because we know each other. Is the trash talk any different when it is a friend as opposed to someone you don't know? I mean, you could get extra personal, or you could keep it lighter. <coughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean... You could uh, really dig the knife in deep if you wanted to, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, obviously, when it's when it's your boy, you, just, you never get too personal just because, I mean, at the end of the day, you still respect each other as players, as individuals. What's your record in those three games there? Do you know? Three games, one and two. But the one came in college, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you were hurt in the spring. Yeah. How, how long did it take you to come back from that? And given the, the, the competition in Florida, were you concerned that that might set you back far enough that it would be hard to win a, a job in rotation? Um. Not necessarily uh, when I hurt my shoulder. I, kn I knew that I had, um, in order to like have a good season this year or to be able to compete, I had to like, get my shoulder repaired on. So, I mean, I sat down with Coach Mick and the and then the uh, medical staff, and I and they let me know like that would probably be the best decision to make. So, as far as competition, every day is competition regardless. So, I knew that regardless of if I got the serious shoulder surgery or not, it's still be competition. You have sure. labrum? So it was? Yeah, it was a labrum. Jeff, you, you go against uh, J.K. sometimes in practice. I mean, I, I think tackling or whatever. But what, what's different about him this year compared to last year? What do, you, what, what do you see that's different about his game? Obviously, we're only getting to see him and Mike every other series, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, you can definitely tell that uh, he's more of an experienced guy now. He, he's he kind of learned the ropes. 
and uh, it's kind of cool to just watch his development uh, from the defense side of the ball. Yeah, and, and when you say he's learned the ropes, what, he has some tricks up his sleeve now? What, what, what are you talking about there? Uh, he's he's uh, developed as a threat out the backfield as far as catching passes yeah. down the field, and uh, as well as a pass blocker, his pass pro has really uh, gotten better. Can you put in perspective for folks how many big time football players are in and around where you grew up in the Metroplex there? Is it is it crazy? I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, T- and did TCU you come after you very hard? Oh yeah, definitely. Well like I know when I was a freshman I had to block Miles Garrett on the yeah. point on the point team. That didn't go too well. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, like just just playing I mean, playing in Texas in the area that I that I grew up in, you can go against some of the top talent in the state every single Every single day, I know we played Dontre Wilson. We played a lot of guys. Yeah. Did Did you actually go against Sean Robinson? I yeah. Mean, yeah. Senior, senior year, we played head to head. Yeah. On head yes. to head. Yeah. And what was he like? He was a what? What was he? A, what year was he in? He was a, He was a senior, and I was a senior. senior. Yeah. Yeah. We're same recruiting class. And what was he like? What was he? Uh, what do you remember from him on the high school field? I think the offense he played in in high school is really comparable to the one he plays in right now. And as far yeah. as uh, going a lot of empty, spreading the ball around, getting it out quick, taking shots and a lot of uh, read option. And a lot of people say when he actually pulls it down and runs, he's more like a running back. Do you agree with that? I mean, he runs more like a running back than a quarterback? Yeah, because I mean, I mean, Tate, I mean, him and Tate are both kind of guys that can run the ball, but Sean kind of has a more sturdy frame. Yeah. So when, when you go in Sean, he has the option to put his shoulder down and try to run you over. As opposed to just trying to shake you and go out of bounds, something like that. Yeah, Jeff, what was it like? More questions for Jeffrey. Why was Ohio State able to come into Texas in your class in particular and get three guys of the caliber of you, Barron and, and J.K., and get them to come here? Um, I think their reputation really preceded them uh, as far as having guys in the position, in my position, with Garyon, Marshawn, Eli, Roby, and for J.K. Obviously, you have Zeke. You have a, just a history of great running backs, and for Barron. You have the Shazier's, the McMillan's, Darren Lee's, and all that. So when you see that, even being in Texas, it kind of is appealing to just want to be one of the next guys in line. And I know you're not all from the same part of the state, but what, what was your, I guess, feel for the reaction down there when three of the top six players in the state decide to come up here? Uh, I was I was definitely happy just because you don't have you don't have to worry about getting homesick because you kind of feel like you brought a part of home uh, with you to Ohio. But uh, it would have been really nice to get Marvin Wilson yeah. and make it forward. Hey, Jeff, you and Sean Wade came in together. He obviously didn't get to play last year. He had a big game on Saturday. What was that like for you to see him out there finally? And then what can he add to this defense? Uh, it, made, it made me really happy just because knowing that he had to go through last year with that injury, which is really unfortunate, and just to see him uh, back on the field and making plays. I mean, I guess as, as someone that's in your recruiting class and the unit, yeah, you just you can't be any happy. Is that what he does in practice too? Sean? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, he's a he's a guy that gets around that football a lot. You, you mentioned the first game you got two defensive pass interference calls. Yeah. When you watched that video, were they small things or how much did that disappoint you that you got called for those two? I mean, obviously I was disappointed just because going all through all through camp but I didn't get called for pass interference. So just getting two in that that short time span was like it was a little bit discouraging, but after I watched it on film, got coached up by Coach Yano, I think it's things that that were easily fixable and that uh, will be easy to avoid down the line. And what do you think you have to do? What's the next stage in your development? Um, I would say trusting my trusting my eyes. Uh, I think all the physical and tangibles are there as far as speed, all that stuff, and uh, really trusting my shoulder again. You mentioned Dan, Sean. Last question you mentioned here. Sean Robinson having a sturdier frame. Does having experience going against JT Barrett in the past does that help in terms of preparing for a guy like Sean? Uh, I want to say JT wasn't as elusive as Sean was in the open field as far as this. Because Sean, I mean, if you watch his high school tape, it's, you see spin moves, you see jukes in there. So it's kind of like maybe even say stockier Lamar Jackson kind of player. And I, I think JT, he had a running element, but it wasn't just that elusive. But it still was a threat. So, I mean, JT kind of gives you that feel, but I, I wouldn't compare it. Just, 